So we've discussed meal and travel safety during the coronavirus, but something we're talking about in our newsroom is why we are several months into this pandemic. So why is the virus still spreading like wildfire? It's an important question to ask before this holiday season. So tonight we're taking a closer look at that problem and what you can do to stop the spread. Blue. See that? That's you. And you have the measles. And those, those dots around you, they have zero protection against the virus. Science tells us eventually you will infect upwards of 15 other dots, thanks to something known as an r naught. Yep, r naught, a fancy term that tells you how contagious a disease is. The r naught of measles, around 15. The r naught of smallpox, 6. Both are very contagious, but measles remains rare. And no one gets smallpox anymore credit the rise of vaccinations, an effective shield against contagion. Maybe a few dots received one, maybe that one didn't, but see what it does to the spread? Now let's take the new coronavirus. It's r naught of two or three suggests it's not as harmful, but as of now, no one has protection. There is no vaccine, so you and your dot could infect two or three, and those two or three could infect four or five, and so on and so on. But let's say you decide to social distance and only infect one, not two or three. Your neighbor doesn't go to work. Your coworker doesn't hit the park. A stranger stays home. Infections can still happen, but the odds of any one dot infecting two or three others decreases thanks to distance. The contagion slows. Exponential growth turns into linear growth, if not this. Until there is an effective treatment or a vaccine, physical distancing represents the best odds, say infectious disease experts, one by one, connecting the dots by doing nothing more than disconnecting them. We've talked about how the coronavirus spreads so quickly. Now we want to look at what we can do to stop it. So tonight our Verify team looked into who will likely get the vaccine first when it's available. Here's Evan Kosloff. With this pandemic, it's no doubt been a long year for everyone. And that's why we're all anxiously watching the latest vaccine news. And on social media, we've seen one question quite a bit. Who will get the vaccine first? And from there, what's the pecking order? Let's verify. Our sources are the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Who is most likely to get this vaccine first? And Dr. William Schaffner who spoke with our team on Facebook Live Thursday evening. Schaffner is a liaison representative for the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, which is made up of medical and public health experts. The CDC makes vaccine recommendations based on input from this committee. Schaffner says the committee had a clear answer as far as who gets vaccinated first. Healthcare workers, those individuals who have first contact with people with COVID or who might have COVID will receive the vaccine first, uh, this includes first responders. It includes people who work in nursing homes. So healthcare workers are first. As for which group comes next? It hasn't been quite decided. It may be decided on Monday. Generally speaking, the CDC says that there are three other groups being considered for early COVID-19 vaccination. They are workers in essential and critical industries, people at high risk for a severe illness from COVID-19 due to underlying medical conditions, and lastly, those over 65. Dr. Schaffner says that there's still a debate about which group should go next. Should it be people who are most vulnerable older persons, people with underlying chronic illnesses, they suffer disproportionately from COVID, or should it be people who keep us constantly going in society? Long distance truckers, the people who work in our pharmacies and our supermarkets. So we can verify the consensus from the CDC's advisory committee is that healthcare workers should get the vaccine first. As for who gets it after that, that's still being debated. With your verify, this is Evan Kozlov.